What's going on everyone? You're back with Jono for another quick math lesson. Today we're going to look at how to convert Venn diagrams to two-way tables and vice versa. Because these are both data displays designed to show us non-mutually exclusive events, we can actually convert these two incredibly easily. They are actually telling us the same information, we just have to piece it together and put the correct numbers in the right spot. For these, we're not doing a huge amount of maths, we're just making sure we are reading the display correctly and then filling in the appropriate information when we need to. So in this example here, we are seeing how many people have cats and how many people have dogs. Obviously, the bit in the middle is the important bit where we've got people that are in both and outside of the people that have neither. So for this, you might be asked to create a two-way table straight away. Again, we're going to go through my tips First thing is please just throw up four horizontal lines and four vertical lines immediately. Then we're going to put total in the bottom left and the top right and that's where we're going to start and we're going to make sure that once we have this scaffold the rest of it kind of flows quite naturally. So what's really important here is that we add up all the numbers in the Venn diagram and that's how many people we surveyed and we're going to put that number in the bottom right hand corner of our two way table. So if I add these up, I get the answer 49, throw it in straight away. Now I've got these bits of information, I just have to fill in the other things which do make quite a lot of sense. So on this side I'm going to have cats and no cats, and on the top I'm going to have dogs and no dogs. And from there, it all kind of flows pretty cruisy. So because I've got 14 people that have cats and dogs, they're going to go in that first cell up there. And then I'm going to finish off how many people have dogs. because 14 people have both and 22 people only have a dog. I'm just going to throw that 22 directly underneath. And now because I've got those two pieces of information, I can work out how many people have a dog in total. It's the 14 that have both plus the 22. So I've got 36 people that have a dog in this survey. From here, I've just got to do the cats, right? Seven people only have a cat, 14 people have both. So that means that seven goes here straight away. And then I've got six people that don't fit into either, and those six go into the no cat, no dog cell straight away. And again, the best thing about these two-way tables is you just have to make sure they add up correctly. So seven plus six is 13, that goes straight there. I know I've got 13 people that don't have a dog. To find out how many people have a cat, 14 plus seven is 21, and then just make sure all of these add up correctly. So I've got 28 directly under that because I know 49 people were asked. So for these two-way tables, the only important thing is the setup. Please do the four horizontal lines and the four vertical lines to get you started. Throw those total in and then you're gonna get really, and then you're gonna get ripped into them because the maths is not too hard. So for this second example, we've asked people if they drive or use public transport. Right, so there could be people that use both, right? Maybe some days they drive, some days they take public transport, or maybe they get driven to the bus stop or something like that, so we can have both. So these aren't mutually exclusive. So for these ones, the two important numbers that we've got are the 14 people that drive and take public transport, and the 22 people that don't drive and don't take public transport because we can put them in straight away. So the first thing I'm going to do is put those 14 people in the intersection. These are the guys that do both, so 14 goes in the middle. And then because I know there are 22 people that do neither, I'm going to throw them on the outside. We're already halfway done. So from here I want to look at how many people drive in total. I've got 20 down there in that column. But because 14 people do both, I've got to use the leftover of six straight into that circle. So again, I'm still looking at the inside of my two-way table. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for public transport. I know I've got 22 people in total that are using public transport. 14 are already accounted for, so it just leaves that eight into that other circle. So again, we just have to read the inside of the Venn diagram, making sure we know where everything goes. The best thing about these Venn diagrams is we can check if we've got it right. I know for a fact there were 50 people in total surveyed. So that's that bottom right hand corner of the two way table. So if you add up all the numbers you put in your Venn diagram, if it doesn't equal 50, you got it wrong. Six plus 14 plus eight plus 22 equals 50. So we got it right. These questions are not too difficult. Just take a bit of time to make sure your scaffolds are good 
and the rest of it kind of just flows. The maths is not hard at all. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later.